So good evening and welcome to Sunday uh, late afternoon, uh, early evening restorative yoga practice. My name is Leah and I will be your guide this evening. I sent out a playlist. You're welcome to hit play on the playlist if you enjoy practicing with music. Um, for props today, we will be using two blocks if you have them. If you don't, cushions will, will work for that as well, or you could stack books. We'll use a bunch of blankets. You can also use towels and cushions. So soft things that you can build up support with. Um, make sure you're dressed warmly so that you stay comfortable. And it's nice to have low light in the room to fully relax. You also can use an eye pillow or a cloth over the eyes to block out any additional light. So we're actually going to start um, standing today. And I'm just going to hit play on my playlist and I'll be right back. You can get started standing on your mat. You might like to orient it um, parallel to the screen the same way I have. But if space doesn't allow that, no worries. It'll be fine either way. All right, so getting started here on our mats. Today, we're going to begin standing. So I'd like you to just stand here comfortably with a soft bend in the knees. You might even take a wide stance to begin. And then just close your eyes and really connect through your feet to the earth. You might even lift up your toes and then set them back down. Just feeling the ground below you. And then with a soft bend in the knees, you can open your eyes if they aren't already. We're just gonna start to gently sway side to side. So it can be a small movement to begin. And the movement might get bigger you might begin to lift up one foot or heel and then the other and your arms might even wrap the body. Let the movement be as big or as small as feels good. We're just kind of getting out some energy here coming into our physical body. And then we'll slowly make this movement smaller and smaller and smaller, gradually coming back to stillness. We'll set the feet at hips distance, all 10 toes are pointing forward. And then again, a soft bend in the knees and let's tuck the tailbone. So coming into our yoga neutral spine. Roll the hands, palms face forward, which gets the shoulders rolling down the back. And we'll take a deep breath in here. You might close the eyes. And a big sigh out, sending that breath through the body and into the earth. As you inhale, imagine the breath coming up through the feet, all the way to the crown of the head. And then exhale, sending it back down. This time as you inhale, draw the breath up. Let's extend the arms out and up to the sky, really finding some length in the spine. The head might tip up and the gaze might lift. And then as you exhale, bring that palms together and let's draw them down through the space of the third eye and to the heart. We'll pause here, pressing one palm against the other, noticing that sensation. If you'd like to set an intention for restorative practice today, I invite you to do that now. And on the next breath, we'll sweep the arms down, palms face up and we'll lift them to the sky, finding length. Palms come together and they move through the heart. We'll bend the knees deeply and slowly fold forward toward the earth. 
You can bend as deeply as you need to touch down with the fingertips. And as you inhale, begin the ascent. You might drag the fingers up the body as you inhale, rolling the spine up vertebrae by vertebrae. And as you stand, palms spin out and we reach out and up to the sky. And we'll do that again, palms together, slowly folding over bent knees, letting the hands touch down at the bottom of the exhale. As you inhale, slowly start the ascent with a rounded spine. The chin is tucked, the head is the last thing to rise. We continue inhaling, getting the hands up toward the sky bringing them together and descending as we exhale. So we're, we're really trying to link breath and movement here, elongating the inhales and exhales. One more as we inhale, dragging up to the sky. Palms together, deep bend in the knees, folding forward. And this time with the knees bent, clasp opposite elbows, you might toe heel the feet wide for more stability. And we'll just hang here in ragdoll pose. Let the head be heavy. You might nod yes and no to release any tension in the neck. And then let gravity pull your shoulders toward the earth, finding space in those joints. Breathing slow, deep inhales, and pay attention to the exhales, make them complete. From here, we'll continue bending the knees. The, the fingertips can touch down, and then we'll bring the, the fingertips behind us as we sit down, finding a comfortable seat. So you might like to sit up on a cushion or on a couple blankets here. And you also can um, spread a blanket out over the top of your mat for just some coziness and warmth. So in our comfortable seat here, we'll sit up nice and tall. You might gently tuck the chin, feel the crown of the head gently reaching toward the sky as the sit bones descend toward the earth. And then we can bring the hands toward the um, groin and, and cup one hand in the other. This mudra is associated with the root chakra. This is the center of our foundation. So from here, we'll take a deep breath in, eyes can close. And a slow breath out, making sure you release all the breath Feel the belly contract, moving back toward the spine. Inhale, the belly expands. Exhale, release all that air. You can engage ujjayi breath, that ocean sounding breath, sending the breath toward the back of the throat, a slight constriction in the back of the throat, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the nose. So I'd like you to take 10 breaths like this, starting with an inhale, which is number one. Making sure to release all the air before you inhale for number two. Follow your own pace, your own rhythm. If you lose count, just start again with number one.
Observe your breath, observe your body. When you're ready, when you've completed 10 full breaths, slowly open the eyes. We'll release the hands and let the fingers descend toward the earth. From there, we'll take a deep breath in. As you exhale, look to the right, look over the right shoulder. Deep breath in here, and on the next exhale, draw, drag the chin down across the chest and over to the left side, coming up to look over the left shoulder. Inhale here, exhale, the chin descends, moves towards center and rises to the right. Tip the chin slightly higher this time, and as you exhale, lower it, moving towards center, Inhale, rising to the left, a little bit of lift to the chin. Exhale, descending towards center. This time, inhale, the chin rises and let's take it in a full circle. So looking up to the sky and all the way around, tucking chin on the exhale. Go at your own pace. Let's take about three of these full circles, noticing how the neck feels. Letting the arms be heavy and the shoulders relaxed. And then we'll come to neutral when you're ready and we'll reverse that circle. So first looking to the left and tipping the chin up and dropping it down to the right. About three circles on this side. And then we'll come to neutral when you're ready. We'll take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, let the right ear fall to the right shoulder. Let the head be heavy. You might even take the right hand to the outer edge of the head, giving it a little gentle additional stretch. And then we'll release the right hand down Let's take the left arm and circle it back for some uh, circles with the shoulder, left shoulder. So make circles that are the size that feels good in your joint. About three in one direction and then reverse that direction. And then let's reach up to the sky and over to the right for a side body stretch. You might tuck the hand behind the head and spin the chest toward the sky. You'll feel, you might feel a stretch across the lats, the chest, the shoulder, breathing for three. Complete inhales and complete exhales. And then we'll reach up to the sky and drop that left hand down, looking straight ahead, back to neutral, deep breath in. Exhale, left ear, left shoulder. You can take the hand to the head if you like that additional stretch. Releasing the hand down and then circling the right arm back and forward getting into the shoulder joint here, slow circles, about three in one direction, and then three the other way. And then we'll reach the right arm up to the sky, finding length in the side body, and then reach over to the left. You can stay like this or plant the right palm behind the head and spin the ch chest and heart and gaze toward the sky. 
three full intentional breaths into the belly, making sure to press out all the air on the exhale. And then we'll inhale, coming back to neutral. Great. From here, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, gently twist to the right. The, the fingertips can stay on the earth. And then we'll inhale to center. Exhale, gently twist to the left. And then we'll inhale, coming back to center. We'll roll up onto hands and knees. You might like to pad the mat with a blanket, especially if you have any knee sensitivity. The hips are will be over the knees, shoulders over wrists. This is our tabletop pose. Press the top edges of the feet into the earth. Press the hands into the earth. As you inhale, round the spine, tuck the chin, cat, cat pose. As you exhale, arch the spine, lift the heart and the tailbone for cow. Move between these two. Inhale, rounding the spine. Exhale, arching the spine. Follow your breath. And then we'll come to neutral and just circle those hips, pressing them side, back, side and forward. And then we'll take those circles the other way. From here, let's sit back on our heels for a moment and we'll find some of our props. We're going into a restorative child's pose. If you have a bolster, set it the long direction on the mat. If you do not have a bolster, simply stack up cushions. We'll set the knees wide here. And if you are, if this is uncomfortable on the knees, you can set cushions or blankets between bum and knees. The cushions will extend straight forward from the torso. And then we'll set the hands down and slowly walk ourselves forward, letting the torso and head come to rest on the cushion, cushions. And then decide which side your head wants to go, turn to, whether right or left. Make sure that you feel um, completely supported and that you're not using energy, much muscle energy here to stay in the pose. So if um, that might mean, even if you're really comfortable in child's pose, it might mean sliding something below your bum. So when you've arrived in your comfortable supported child's pose, Take a deep breath in, feel the belly expand against your supports. And as you exhale, soften, feel the torso and, and spine move toward your support, toward the earth. You might like to have hands under the head or under your cushions, figure out what feels best to you. We'll take about 10 slow, intentional breaths here, supported child pose. Eyes to close. Let the eyelids be heavy. Relax the muscles of your face. If you find any tension in the jaw, you will gently open and close it, releasing that tension. Relax your neck. Let the shoulders be heavy as they round and fall forward. Chest is fully supported. Belly is 
breath, expanding on every breath. You might try turning your head to the other side just to see how this feels on your neck and shoulders. Listening to the sound of your breath. Maybe you can hear the sound of your heartbeat. Tuning in to our natural rhythms. Listening to the wisdom of our bodies. See if you can let the head grow even heavier, sinking down as you exhale closer to the earth. <clears throat> Soften through the hips, the legs, release any tension in the feet. We'll take four more slow, deep breaths here. Expanding the belly on the inhale. Releasing all the air on the exhale. You might recall the sensation of inhaling the breath from the feet all the way to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, sending it back down. When you're ready, you can keep the eyes closed or focus low to the ground. We'll take the hands to the mat, slowly pressing ourselves up to sit. We'll set the bolster to the side, coming to sit down on our bum, swing the legs around and plant the feet in front of you. Scoot the bum to about halfway up the mat. And then we're going to set up for a restorative fish pose. So a heart opener, setting the bolster or pillows behind the hips and extending them the long direction up the mat. And then set, if you're using a bolster, set blankets or an additional pillow at the top of the bolster that'll fall under your head to keep your head higher than your torso. And with your blocks, we'll set the blocks under the knees and extend the knees toward the corners of the mat. Slowly lower yourself down onto your supports. You might press the feet into the earth to gently lift the tail and tuck the tailbone and then set it back down and extend the legs long. And then the back is fully supported on your cushions and blankets. The head is completely supported. 
and the neck should feel comfortable. So make sure you have the right amount of additional padding under the head. You don't want too much. The chin should not feel tucked toward the chest. It should be able to move easily. The arms will open toward the sky. The hands rest, palms face, earth, face up on the earth. If you're feeling the arms holding any tension, you can set blankets or cushions under each arm for additional support. And if you feel cold in any way, you can cover yourself here with a blanket. This restorative pose allows us to gently open the heart open through the shoulders, the chest, the lats, gives us space for easy full breaths into the lungs and belly, and keeps us grounded through our hips, our feet and arms to the earth. As we lie here, you might meditate on what opportunities in life you'd like to meet with an open heart. What will be possible if we can only approach it with openness? Let's take a slow, deep breath in here, expanding on the inhale, sipping in as much air as we possibly can. And then slowly with control, release it out. Feel the ribs release, the back sinks into our support, muscles soften. Open-heartedness is a state of generosity toward the outside world. And to be open-hearted, we must stay rooted in our true self. using our inner voice and our inner wisdom to guide our decisions without feeling threatened, without making choices from a place of fear. In instead, we face these choices from a state of security self-knowledge, equanimity. Let's take four more slow, deep breaths here. Feeling that nourishment that comes with every inhale. 
and the release that comes with each exhale. When you're ready, we're going to shift into reclined bound angle pose. And you can ch choose to do that with the same supports under your back and chest and head. So if you're doing that, all you do is first plant the feet on the mat, removing the blocks. Bring the feet and knees together. Let the knees fall open and set your blocks under the legs for support. The soles of the feet will touch one another. If you'd like to come off the supports for your back, you're welcome to gently roll off. I recommend removing props, rolling completely onto one side first, and then rolling back onto your back and opening the legs for the bound angle pose. If you're enjoying this heart opening position, then certainly stay here with these supports. Supta Baddha Konasana allows us to open into our hips using gravity to do the work. You can have the arms facing up, palms facing up. And if you're using the supports, they just rest gently by your sides. If your back is flat on the ground, you might try extending the arms wide or into a cactus shape, finding what feels best for you. Wherever you are, let's take a slow, deep breath in, sending the breath into the belly, feeling it expand. Exhale, pressing out every last drop of breath, releasing and relaxing into the earth and into our support. drawing awareness into the feet. You might notice the sensation of each toe touching its mate, recognizing the balls of the feet as they touch one another, even through the arches and heels. And then relax the ankles. If you're holding any tension there, just release it. Soften through the calves and shins. If you notice you're holding any tension, you might try shifting the feet forward away from the bum. See if that brings more comfort and ease into the pose. Allow the knees to completely release and relax. The inner thighs soften. The quads and hamstrings soften. The pelvis and hips are fully supported by the earth. Muscles of the back are soft, relaxing.
the shoulders are heavy, feeling supported. The biceps and triceps relax. We release the elbows, the arms, wrists, hands and fingers. The neck is supported, skull is heavy, jaw releases, tongue relaxes in the mouth. Muscles of the face soften, eyelids are heavy. We'll stay for four more slow, full, sweet breaths. When you're ready, slowly bring hands to the outside of the knees and lift the knees towards center, bringing the soles of the feet to the ground. And then we'll slide the blocks away, setting them nearby. With eyes closed or low to the ground, Gently roll off of your supports onto your right side. And we'll pause here in stillness for a moment, taking a deep breath in and a big sigh out. And then we'll extend the right leg long Take your bolster or cushions and you're gonna slide it down in front of the extended leg. And you'll bend and lift the um, top leg to rest on your supports. From there, stack blankets or use a pillow under your head. And we're coming into a side lying position on the right side. So you want to make sure that the head is supported with enough height, that the neck doesn't collapse or bear any weight. The arms can find where is comfortable. If you'd like to have another pillow to support the, right, the top arm, you're welcome to do that. You also can use blocks or any of your props. The main thing is to not feel like you're holding any of your muscles up. So you want everything to feel like it's landing on support. When you find that sweet spot where everything is supported, even your feet, your top foot, we'll take a deep breath in and a slow sigh out. If you ever have, notice you have any low back sensitivity, this is a great posture 
for relaxing the sacral spine. And you can even use cushions when you sleep to keep the hips supported. With the eyes closed here, take a gentle scan of the body without judgment or analysis, simply observing how you feel lying on the right side. If you notice any areas holding tension, can you breathe into those places and invite them to soften and relax. We'll take four more slow, deep breaths here. And then when you're ready with eyes closed, we're going to turn this into a gentle spinal twist. So we'll remove all but one of the blankets from under head. If you have cushions under head, just make sure it's a low cushion, not too big. And then we're going to send the left arm, the top arm across the chest and open it to the left side. And we'll turn so that our sh both shoulders land on the earth. You might like to use your blocks behind your spine and bum that act as kind of a bumper so that you feel really supported and comfortable here in this twist. And if arms wide open isn't feeling great today, you can try cactusing the arms. Just experiment until you find a comfortable spot. Listen to your body. Give it a moment to settle in a new position. And when you arrive at whatever that position is, take a deep breath in, feel the lungs expand. Exhale slowly, releasing every ounce of air. Shoulders relax into the earth. The head is heavy. Eyes are closed. Legs are supported by the earth in your props. We'll take four slow, deep, intentional breaths here.
Notice any areas of tension. Invite them to soften and relax. And notice the places that are relaxed, that have found ease and comfort here. Our restorative practice helps us to build neural pathways of relaxation. And the more often we come into these restorative and relaxing postures, the more ease we find in our mind. these become patterns and become easier to come back to. When you're ready with the eyes closed, Slowly bend both legs, removing the support from under the higher leg. And then we'll roll onto the back, the soles of the feet plant, and we'll pause here for a moment. Take a deep breath in, feeling this sense of full support of the earth. And when you're ready, we'll roll on to the other side. Take the supports with you. You'll extend the left leg long. Move the supports to the outer edge of the leg. Roll onto your left side and bring the bent upper leg onto your support. Again, stack enough blankets or cushions under the head that the neck is fully supported. You might need to experiment to get this right. And if you like support under the upper arm, set your cushions or blocks in a way that provides the arm a place to rest. When you arrive in your comfortable side lying position, take a slow deep breath in and a big sigh out. Melting the body toward the earth. Finding the comfort and ease in this pose. Breathing into our restorative practice. Grateful for the gift of this time. focused on rest, filling ourselves up with ease, comfort, and joy. So that we can move forward from a place of fulfillment.
If the mind wanders, guide it back to the breath. Guide it back to physical sensations. Following the rhythm of our bodies, of our breath. We'll take four more slow, deep breaths here. Softening head, neck, and shoulders. Relaxing spine, hips, and legs. When you're ready, with eyes closed, we'll slowly transition into a supported twist. You can remove all but one blanket from under the head. And you might slide, take the blocks and set them behind the hips and spine. And then we'll <clears throat> take the left, the top arm and slide it up the other across the chest and extend it wide, allowing both shoulders to touch the mat. You'll readjust your legs and hips to make that possible. And if you'd like to add additional lift under the top leg, the bent leg, then go ahead and do that. The position should feel easy and supported. It should not put strain anywhere in the body. When you've arrived at your supported twist with shoulders on the mat, we'll take a deep breath in, feeling the chest rise and the belly expand. And sigh it out, sinking toward the earth. Eyes can close, face softens, jaw releases, head is heavy. What will we move towards with an open heart? Take four more slow, deep breaths here. When you're ready, 
Slowly remove the blocks from behind you. We'll roll onto the back, planting the feet on the mat. And we'll draw the knees into the chest, giving ourselves a hug. From here, we'll move into a gentle inversion for Shavasana. So I'll give you some options. The first option is to slide your bolster under the knees, making sure your feet touch down on the earth and you can stay right here. If you'd like a deeper inversion, I'll give two other options. So the first one is to use the bolster and the blocks. To do that, let's slowly roll onto our side, moving very slowly, keeping eyes low, setting up the blocks about a foot apart from each other on their middle setting, and then stacking the bolster on top. You can add additional blankets here for even more lift. From there, you'll spin the body so that the um, hips are parallel to your support. And then you'll slowly lower yourself down as you turn the legs to drape over the support. And then lower your back all the way down onto the mat. You might have a blanket under the head. So this is a slightly deeper inversion with knees over the hips. Option three, final option. <laughs> One of my all time favorites is uh, legs up the wall. To do that, again, we'll move slowly because we don't want to jar ourselves after this, all the stillness of practice. So you'll bring hip parallel to the mat, to the wall, slowly lower down onto your back, and then spin the body to come perpendicular to the wall, walking the legs up the wall. You can bring a blanket under the head here for support and softness. Wherever you are, take a slow, delicious, sweet and full breath in. And a big sigh out. allowing ourselves to rest here in Shavasana, our final resting pose, absorbing all of the benefits of our restorative practice. Feeling a sense of groundedness and connection to our inner truth, to our roots, to that wisdom that guides us, our intuition. And we also might find a sense of openness, buoyancy, and light as we've opened our hearts, opened our minds to what is possible.
You're welcome to stay in this restorative inversion. If you're ready to bring practice to a close, bring some small movement into the hands and feet. You might slowly circle the wrists and ankles. Wiggle fingers and toes. And then slowly and carefully, you'll bend the knees. And if you're at the wall, bring the, the body parallel to the wall and then lower the legs down. If you're on the mat, draw the knees to the chest and roll onto your right side. Pausing here, we'll all pause on our right side. And then slowly when you're ready, gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. You might sit on the blanket. Sitting up tall here, feeling the crown reach toward the sky. Let's set one hand cupped inside the other in our lap, returning to the mudra we began with. Taking a moment to observe the physical body, observe our energetic body, and notice if anything has shifted during the course of our restorative practice. We'll take a deep breath in through the nose, filling up and a big sigh out, letting it go. We'll bring hands to the heart in Anjali Mudra and gently bow the head in gratitude. Gratitude for our restorative practice. Gratitude for the wisdom that brought us to our mats this evening. And for all of the support systems that have allowed us to practice together in this way, in this time today. And I'd like to thank each of you for sharing practice with me. Namaste.